we received the vaccine for Polk County providers um, who did not have an agreement with the federally funded programs and then we uh, repackaged and distributed the vaccine to uh, various medical providers in Polk County. We vaccinated anyone who was eligible to receive the vaccine. We put together a drive-through clinic to make it easier for those who had maybe mobility issues. Um, we also had um, buses come through with residential facilities make it easier for those people to be vaccinated without um, transportation or mobility issues. I think part of the role of public health is to provide the public with the tools they need to stay healthy. And in this pandemic, the vaccination was the biggest tool we had available. COVID ended up being a bigger logistical challenge than any of us would have thought. Um, from receiving the vaccine, to repackaging the vaccine, to redistribution of the vaccine, to um, having the several different positions um, at the drive through clinic, from um, traffic control to registration to the nurses to vaccinate um, and to the nurses to watch the um, post-vaccination center. So it, it turned out to be a bigger logistical challenge than we ever would have expected. I think just being able to vaccinate people um, in their car was very convenient for a lot of um, the Polk County residents. Um, most recently, um, I actually did the vaccination clinic when we started the six months and older and just the appreciation from the parents. I mean, several parents were in tears. Um, so just being able to provide it to those who really wanted it um, was very fulfilling. The Board of Supervisors were engaging with the constituents constantly in regard to vaccine availability. We worked closely with the Health Department to understand their distribution strategies help make connections when necessary, and help with the public information campaigns that accompanied the vaccination campaign. We were very aware that there were the people who were 100% in for vaccine and those who were 100% opposed to it. But there was also a group of people who just really didn't have a strong opinion one way or another. We had seen incentive programs work in other areas of the country, so we thought we'd give it a try, and we did the vaccine lottery, and we incentivized vaccination with our gift cards. We think this was a positive step towards getting more people vaccinated, but also helped ease some of the economic burden that COVID created. I'm especially proud of the work that our health department did to reach out to some of our more underserved communities and provide opportunities for vaccination and incentives. We heard daily from people who were desperate to access the vaccine, people who had compromised immune systems, people who cared for the elderly, people with new babies, we were all frustrated by the initial lack of availability of the vaccine, and it was heartbreaking for me to not have an answer for these people in those early days of the vaccine. We worked closely with the health department to make sure that people understood the other mitigation strategies that they could effectively use until the vaccine was available. COVID was extraordinarily difficult and disrupted our lives in so many ways, and I'm thankful for all of the community members who put their trust in the science of the vaccine and helped us get through this pandemic. I think our role in the uh, immunization effort was to immunize those in our local community who had trouble accessing vaccines. So we had a tremendous partnership with Polk County and Hy-Vee and we're able to also partner with the Harkin Institute here on campus, open up some spaces, including the Boys and Girls Club, where we, we were able to vaccinate over a thousand people a couple of times. Uh, more specifically, we did an event for teachers when teachers became eligible for vaccinations. And so um, really a unique opportunity to do things that I think other locations wouldn't have been able to support. Early on, we knew we had a lot of students and faculty who could provide immunizations, hundreds as a matter of fact. So we knew that was a unique resource that a lot of folks didn't have access to. And so we were able to mobilize those people. Really the uh, amount of volunteerism that we had was tremendous. So we had hundreds of volunteers over um, really the uh, majority of the pandemic um, willing to give their time and their effort to uh, help in this effort. So it was really a, a, special, a special event. 
So the volunteers came from our students and our faculty. Uh, we train our first year pharmacy students, our second year pharmacy students to give immunizations. Those primarily were the people who were vaccinating for us. But uh, in addition, um, we also mobilized a number of our faculty. So before the pandemic, we had about eight faculty who were credentialed to give immunizations. And then we offered them training and got that number up to about 25 people who could vaccinate. So it really was an all hands on deck effort here. I think some of the most memorable times giving immunizations was um, getting people their second shots and then asking them, what do you most look forward to after you get this immunization? And just hearing people's stories of reconnecting with family and being able to do all these things they weren't able to do during the pandemic was really special. During COVID-19, we created materials to educate our community members. Materials included videos, uh, brochures, and just teaching materials in different languages that our communities speak. We did outreach one-on-one -on -one where we went to our clients' homes and talked to them about the vaccine. We did phone calls where we had WhatsApp phone call groups and we just educated people over the phone. We also used videos, as I mentioned, um, where we ourselves got vaccinated on video and we showed people that it was okay, the vaccine was safe. The results were phenomenal because we saw a number of people coming to us, asking us to make appointments for them to get vaccinated. We saw clients asking us to go with them for the vaccines. We gave transportation to clients. So a lot of people were felt good after our education and decided to get vaccinated. We were able to reach different edges of our community and it was very successful because we got, uh, we were getting a lot of phone calls about people who decided to get vaccinated after all the miscommunication on the news and the communities. But after the education, we were getting a lot of um, positive feedbacks from the communities about the people that were decided to get vaccinated. So it was a lot of miscommunication about the COVID uh, based on uh, about the women that were pregnant. There were a lot of confusion. They were confused if they get vaccinated, something will happen to their babies or themselves. But doing a lot of education, it can kind of open up their mind and um, they understood by getting vaccinated, it's safe for themselves and safe for the babies.